All right, Pro Stock Motorcycle fans, here we are post-qualifying on a Saturday night getting ready for race day, and it's always a good thing when you are preparing for battle on Sunday. Mr. John Hall, thanks so much for having us. Second race of the year for you. Yeah. How did this deal come together? Uh, just me and Blake talking. He likes to get out to the races. I like to get out to a few races. And uh, when we put the deal together, he said, John, how many races do you want to do? I said, you know, I want to do just enough that we're still having fun. And he said, well, that sounds about like four or five races. So we're going to do four or five. We did uh, this year, we did Virginia, uh, this race here, Reading. We're going to do Charlotte, and uh, we'll probably do Vegas. Other than then, we're done. Very cool. As I said, this is the second of the year for you. You're a guy who you have a claim to fame. You have won an NHRA national event. And here this weekend, you're on the bump spot. You get in the number 16 spot. As I said, very optimistic that you get to race, yeah. but always tough when you got to go up against the number one qualifier. Yeah, it's right? tough, but it's better than sitting there watching first round. So uh, anything can happen in first round. Um, we found a problem, uh, the bike cut off in the fourth qualifier, and we just barely qualified. Uh, our fuel pump switch went bad, so we had no fuel coasted across the finish line. Luckily, we went fast enough to get that 16th spot away from uh from kelly but uh you know we're fortunate even just to be in it tomorrow because we we haven't been out that much you know we're uh we're not struggling but there's a lot of people out here going fast sure take me into the mindset of a racer now you're in the show you're going up against matt smith he's been a 682 you've been in this game a long time your tuner blake's been in this game a long time do you make wholesale changes to try to pick up performance or do you more so just get on your game and hope that matt makes a mistake we just get on the game, hope he makes a mistake, cut a good light. Just do our job in our lane. Don't worry about who's in there, how fast they've ever been, how fast they could go. It doesn't. None of that matters. It matters how fast we go in our lane. We try to do our best to get from point A to point A to point B. If we do that and we're better than them, then we are. If not, as long as we go home knowing we did our best. And, John, I don't know if you saw the U.S. Nationals, but I did. Matt Smith was qualified number one at the U.S. Nationals. Yeah, Something happened there in the first round, didn't yeah, it? it could happen. It just shows you it's yeah. not a cliche. We say if you qualify, you can win. Yeah. Every single round is so tough out here. What do you think is going to be your biggest challenge tomorrow? Uh, it is what it is, man. The biggest challenge is getting past round one, but you know we just got to go up there and, like I said, do our best run our number, run a, you know, if we come back and we did a double O anything or an O20 light and we ran pretty much what the bike is capable of, we can't even be mad if we got outrun, but we'll be there tomorrow and then uh, we'll face them. You're a long time successful sportsman racer. Remember you doing really well in the AMA Pro Star days. Just tell me briefly what it's like riding this beast compared to some of the other motorcycles you've been on. It's different, man. It's, it's, uh, it's the, pretty much the first 60 feet of the run is is the difference from anything else you've ever ridden and it's a bar bike it's a little different to, to keep straight down the track it's different to move but other than that man you get used to it like anything else and you told me that you own this chassis this is this is my chassis this is a, a chassis that uh that chip Ellis used to ride okay and i think 2000 and maybe 14 13 14 um we bought it from them and if this is Blake's motor, and we don't really have any engines that are, that are up to par with everybody else out here. Okay, so as a guy that is a journeyman just hitting spot races, is that the way to go to not own your own motors because they become obsolete so quick? Um, for me, it is. You know, Blake keeps up on his stuff, and you know, I would just park it in the garage, and we pull it out of the garage for the next race. So, so to me, that's the best way to go. Excellent. Well, it's great to see you out here, and wish you the best Thank of you. luck tomorrow and uh hopefully we'll see you a couple more races in the countdown right yep two more excellent All thanks right. so Thank much you. good luck thanks